Today, we're unraveling the story behind one of our most indispensable household essentials, duct tape. From seamlessly connecting broken pieces to its unconventional uses, like applying eyeliner, duct tape has proven its versatility time and time again. But its significance goes beyond the domestic realm, notably contributing to the safe return of the Apollo 13 mission, where this humble tape played a crucial role. Now. Let's take a trip back in time to World War II, where the miraculous wonder of duct tape was initially conceived by Vesta Stroud, a woman with a heartfelt desire to aid soldiers. So grab your favorite snacks, hit that subscribe button, and give the video a thumbs up. Let's dive into the fascinating manufacturing journey of what was once known as duct tape. Stay tuned for a tapestry of history, innovation, and a touch of ingenuity. As we've already heard, this indispensable essential was born out of the chaos of World War II. Meet Vesta Stroud, an Illinois mom who has become a game changer with her invention. In 1943, noticing issues with ammo boxes sealed by thin paper tape, while her son served in the U.S. Navy, she suggested a waterproof cloth tape at the Green River Ordnance Plant. After facing resistance, she wrote a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, gaining approval from the War Production Board. Johnson & Johnson's Industrial Tape Corporation brought it to life, and the military named it 100 miles per hour tape for its versatility. Fast forward to today, soldiers still rely on duct tape for various repairs, showcasing its enduring usefulness. But that's not all. We're also going to explore the intriguing pronunciation history of duct tape. Originating from World War II, soldiers named the original green adhesive cloth tape duct tape, naming it after the bird. Inspired by its water-resistant qualities, Johnson & Johnson later introduced a metallic silver version, also known as duct tape perfect for sealing heating ducts. Interestingly, scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory found through field tests that duct tape falls short in sealing leaks or cracks. Now brace yourselves for some surprising facts. Did you know that a single strip of duct tape, when folded over, can hold over a ton? It's true, enough to lift a small car. And believe it or not, duct tape has ventured into the world of high-end fashion, with designers creating dresses, shoes, and even handbags entirely out of this humble material. Plus, we're going to explore some Guinness World Records, like the longest ever roll of duct tape measuring a whopping 33,000 feet, longer than six football fields. And did you know that duct tape is so impressive that it has its own museum exhibit in the National Museum of Scotland? And last but not least, we're going to take a trip back to 1970 to unravel the Apollo 13 mission and its unsung hero, duct tape. Astronauts Jim Lavelle, Jack Sigwert, and Fred Hayes faced a crisis after an oxygen tank exploded, turning their mission from a lunar landing to a survival mission. Enter heavy-duty space-grade duct tape, not your usual hardware store role. Witness duct tape rigging a life-saving carbon dioxide scrubber, securing and insulating wires to prevent electrical failure and even crafting hand warmers in the frigid lunar module. Duct tape symbolized human ingenuity in overcoming space challenges. So, the next time you grab duct tape, remember the epic tale of Apollo 13. But before that, let's discover the journey of how duct tapes are made before they come into our hands. Breaking down the teamwork of its three essential parts, let's start with the adhesive the magic behind the stickiness. Typically rubber-based or acrylic, this adhesive undergoes a high-tech process, rubber that is going to meet a sticky resin in a dance of chemistry. The resulting blend is sent into a sigma for additional heating and mixing, creating that perfect sticky and stretch adhesive that we all know and need. Now let's talk about the strength of the tape, the reinforcement. This is what gives duct tape its strength and tear resistance. Crafted from materials like fiberglass, polyester, and nylon, the adhesive-coated cloth is unwound and sent into a unit. And there, the adhesive is applied, forming a tight bond between the cloth and the film, making your tape extra durable. And of course, we can't forget the backbone, the backing material. Whether it's fabric or plastic film made from polyethylene, polyester, or cloth, this is where the customization kicks in. Color concentrates can be added for different hues, from its natural color to various patterns. The possibilities are endless. But wait, there is more. After coating, the tape undergoes a drying process to remove solvents present in the adhesive and ensures that perfect bond. It might even take a trip through heated chambers. Talk about high-tech tape. The next step is to bring these three main components together. Well, there are two ways, and we're about to break it down for you. First up, we've got lamination. Picture a giant, super-powered laminating machine. We make the backing, the scrim, and the adhesive separately, and then we bring them together using some serious heat and pressure, creating a layered masterpiece. Now, the other way is all about co-extrusion. 
this is the high-tech approach. Forget about separate layers. We're melting all three components together simultaneously in a single machine. The result? A smoother, more permanent bond that's practically seamless. Laminated options are like delicious layered sandwiches, flexible and cost-effective, yet with the potential downside of separate layers that might weaken the bond and add thickness. Whereas on the flip side, co-extruded tapes are akin to well-mixed cake batter offering a stronger, thinner profile and top-notch performance in harsh environments. However, they do come at a price and sacrifice some flexibility. So, once those layers are bonded, they give birth to the colossal master roll. If you're wondering about the length, you have to imagine broad because it can be miles long, a true giant in the world of production. But hold on, we can't have a behemoth ruling the shelves, obviously. And that's where the magic of slicing comes in. They slice and dice that mega roll into smaller ones, each with a different width, catering to the specific desires of the final product. And now here's where the real show begins. These sliced rolls, all primed and ready, take center stage as they get wound into course. It's like creating the perfect ensemble for the red carpet. With slicing and winding complete, we've got the right size duct tape. Each roll undergoes a comprehensive quality check, scrutinizing for any imperfections and ensuring a flawless, consistent finish. And now it's shining time for every tape roll. Now let's move on to the packaging phase. The meticulously crafted rolls make their way to our packaging unit, receiving nothing short of the royal treatment. They're neatly wrapped, labeled, and primed for the retail spotlight. But hold on, they're not done yet. They top it off with a sleek sleeve, and then it's off to the oven for that ultimate presentation. Because, well, obviously, our tape deserves nothing than the absolute best. So, there you have it. The incredible journey of duct tape. Before you reach for that trusty roll, remember the resilience, versatility, and ingenuity woven into every strip. From military gear to high fashion creations and even space missions, duct tape has proven itself as more than just a sticky solution. It's a symbol of human creativity.